I went to prison at a very young age for 10 years, put needles in my arm. Went back to prison for robbing the store for one more hit on my daughter's fourth birthday at the age of 34 years old. And I walked out of prison at the age of 40. I remember I gave my life to Christ, right, in prison, changed my life, you know, learned about business. And I walked out of prison, but thank God that my wife was saved in the McAllen Church because this is where I was able to go. And what happens is when I decided to work, start working with men that were in prison, I wanted to work with the men that were coming out of prison. And I remember going back in because I knew that there was men just like me who had messed up their life so bad, they just couldn't see that their life can change. But what happens is many of these men, they get saved in prison, and but they get out and they have no church. And thank God for our fellowship that we have churches all over the world. And I'm able to connect these men to a church in our fellowship, no matter where they're from. And that's what I started doing in McAllen. I got out and you know, I paroled. I asked God, you know, for church. I get to the parole office. You know, in the parole office, you know, uh, they have these meetings. Orlando Salinas shared his testimony. And man, it's like he's just speaking to me. When I went to choose to change. I was open to everything. My marriage was restored. You know, I got my family back, a new, a new life. I never thought it was possible. We have two pastors that are now in the field because of coming through our Choose a Change Ministries, locking through the church, becoming disciples, and today they're pastors. On them, God's will, you know, I'm pastoring. I pastor, I've been pioneering for five years. Choose a Change is an outreach tool. Uh, when I go to a revival in San Antonio or Houston, I go and, uh, into the rehab centers or prison in that area, and I'm, I'm able to take some of the people from the church, which is major impact. It does something to the church. Every night was powerful. Every night God spoke to me differently. And I kept telling God in prayer, I'm too dumb. We're too dumb to have our own business. I don't have a college degree. I don't know how to do this. And he said, you know, I was, I was in prison and I read a book, you know, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Starting Your Own Business. And, and it was like God just slapped me in the face and was like, come on, if I can teach somebody in a prison cell how to run a business, I can teach you. I can, I can, I can help you. And um, here we are a year later, we just went into business two weeks ago. I'm able to impact not only those people that are, that are struggling with drugs and alcohol that have come out of prison or rehab, but the families of those people start coming to church, and which is what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to reach the world. My message to people is believing in the impossible. What I learned in, uh, in my ministry so far and is that not only are people uh, desperate and needy, they, they have so many desperate needs, they're literally gonna have to believe in the impossible for their lives because that's what Jesus Christ offered. If you believe, he said, you can see the glory of God and we can show that to men. We can show that to people as Christians, as a church.